first point is to talk to your family members about what they want. You know, by talking with family members about their feelings, their expectations regarding your possessions ahead of time, you're gonna have a much better idea on how to distribute them uh, to your loved ones with the least amount of conflict. You can find out what people would prefer to inherit. You know, and acting now gives you the opportunity to just talk with folks, uh, you know, whom you plan to bestow things, gifts, and find out what are the items that they really care about and which are the ones that, you know, respectfully they'd rather that they rather not have. Um, you may be surprised. Um, you might think your daughter wants the silverware when she would really prefer an antique rocking chair or some souvenirs from, you know, a family vacation. You can still divide up your property any way that you wish, because after all, it's your estate plan, but you'll have more data. You'll have more information to go on. And dividing up personal possessions among adult children um, or other loved ones can be a difficult or strenuous task in deciding who should get what, showing favoritism, may hurt someone's feelings, or can even cause a feud. Um, you know, those worries, you know, can be difficult to, to internalize. So even for the close-knit families who enter into the process with the best of intentions, you know, communication is important. And I'll say that on more than one um, instance throughout this episode. If family members don't live close to each other, you can do a phone or a video call on FaceTime, Skype, or Zoom, or at least do, you know, a conference call by phone, right? It's really good to talk to people individually as well as talking to them in a, in a group. 